Hi, this is Glenn, the webmaster of Cayenne Pepper at Info. Thanks for dropping by. I have another short video for you here. And I want it to be short because uh, I think that I tend to be a little bit too verbose in uh, going through some of these uh, Cayenne Pepper at Info videos. So I, I promise I'm going to keep this short and sweet. Okay, this video is about how to use cayenne pepper in the treatment of wounds. Uh, cayenne pepper is, of course, fantastic when taken internally, but it's, it's also a fantastic herb if you have uh, any kind of wounds or insect bites or, you know, lacerations uh, that might be severe due to, a, you know, a knife cut or something of that nature. Um, it, I've even heard of cayenne pepper being used in the treatment of, uh, as an emergency aid. Uh, before the the victim was taken to the doctor, uh, for those for a person who was shot with a with a gun, um, cayenne pepper, it's I mean it's it's a fantastic herb in that it, it has not only does it disinfect a wound, but it also at the same time stops the blood from flowing. Cayenne pepper has antifungal and antibacterial properties, which has been recently proved in a in a uh, allopathic Western medicine. A scientific study uh, on on the page where I'm putting this if you're on YouTube I would hope you go to the page I'll put it on this video uh, after I'm done uh, editing it anyway uh, but if you look on the page where I'm putting this you'll see uh, the actual footnote for the the name of the uh, the uh, of the article or the of the study it was called uh, CAY-1 K1, a novel antifungal compound from cayenne pepper. It was uh, published in Medical Mycology in February 2003. And basically, to be short, what it does, there's this particular saponin, uh, CHI-1, it, it, it disrupts the membrane integrity of fungal cells and therefore, uh, among other things, it, it, it has, uh, it's very potent against fungal strains and even against candida, uh, which I didn't know about actually, and I've been studying, using, learning about cayenne pepper for, for literally 20 years. So uh, it's an amazing herb. How do you apply it? This It's this simple. Simply take some of the cayenne pepper powder or the cayenne pepper tincture if you happen to have that, uh, and then place it on the wound, rub it into the wound. It will disinfect the wound while simultaneously stopping the bleeding. If you had someone with a severe wound, like from a knife or a gunshot wound, heaven forbid, you should of course immediately call 911 or, or a doctor and get medical emergency medical attention. That goes without saying. And, and what, what cayenne, or cayenne will do, however, before the, the emergency uh, medical team comes, uh, is it will stop the flow of the blood. It will, if you can somehow get the person who's been really hurt by the gunshot wound or the knife cut to drink the glass of warm cayenne pepper water it will in 10 seconds it will stop the bleeding start clotting the blood and it will because it, it, it will equalize the blood pressure immediately upon oral ingestion so that's what's recommended of course you could put the cayenne on the wound as well and uh, of course if you happen to have alcohol available take a cotton swab and before you put the cayenne on and, and you know clean the wound out, alcohol will destroy that wound or that, any bacteria that might be coming upon it. And uh, but of course, cayenne will do the same thing. So cayenne is of course great for internal uses. Of course, it's fantastic for the heart, for the venous structure, for the elimination of hemorrhoids. Helps for, prevent tooth rot, uh, et, uh, et cetera, et cetera. For more information on the health benefits of cayenne pepper, I encourage you to go to my webpage, Health Benefits of Cayenne Pepper. Html. Well. Just on, my, on the cayenne pepper dot info site on the nav bar to the left, you'll see health benefits of cayenne pepper. Just click that, and it'll take you to it. Okay, that that should do it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, stay thirsty, my friends.